Hey guys, we're here with WTF Car Reviews, and today we're going to be reviewing this all-new 2022 Ford Bronco with the seven-speed manual. And huge thanks to Izzy and the rest of the management and staff here at Elder Ford in Tampa, Florida for making this review possible. These guys have an impressive dealership. I'll leave a link to their inventory below. And if you're looking for a new car or truck in the Tampa area, I would definitely recommend checking these guys out and ask for Izzy. And for those of you guys who don't know, the Bronco was Ford's compact and mid-size off-road capable SUV for 30 years between 1966 and 1996 before being discontinued. And for 2021, Ford brought it back. So here we have the 2022 Ford Bronco. This is the Badlands Edition two-door, 4x4, 33-inch tires, beautiful beautiful suv probably the way that i would personally spec a ford bronco with the seven speed manual 2.3 eco boost starting around forty-two thousand bucks let's see what we get so up front you see your flickering daytime running lights full led headlamps i'm liking that bar in front of your grill too super stiff aluminum bar bronco badging with a forward facing camera in between the o and the n tow hooks front parking sensors really aggressive steel bumper too. Up top you notice these little grab handles and we have our friend. I'm not quite sure what to call him. I think we should call him like Doug or something but he's been on this Bronco for the last like 30-35 minutes. I actually pulled this car up from the parking lot from the dealership when he just does not want to move so we'll leave him there. I'm liking those grab handle thingies on the hood. The 33 inch tires are really impressive with the fender flares. BF Goodrich all-terrain T slash A KO2 tires these are gonna be 33 baja champions with the beadlock rims too you see your bronco badge kind of reminds me of a mustang pony but this is a different type of horse it is a bronco other than that though really impressive you see the lift kit lets us have a pretty decent amount of wheel gap ton of ground clearance i kind of wish we had a um some running boards because it is a little bit high off the ground so for the shorter uh, drivers and passengers you may want to invest in some aftermarket running boards but other than that the side profile of this SUV looks super aggressive I definitely prefer this over what we get from the Jeep Wrangler especially with this turbocharged engine really good low-end torque should really help when it comes to off-road capability other than that though the side mirrors they are folding we have an additional camera on it we get the 360 in this SUV turn signal right outside the glass is pretty large blind spot monitoring on it and I'm liking how the mirrors are not integrated to the door. So you can take these doors off. You get the real off-road experience um, while still having your mirrors attached. The roof is also removable. I'm not going to do it today because it is pretty rainy. Smart access for the front doors. Well, the only doors. And this is a used car, actually. It's a 2022. But like I mentioned, a lot of consumers are taking advantage now of this used car market. And as soon as they buy these special edition vehicles that are really tough to get your hands on, they drive them for a week or two beat the crap out of them and then sell it back to the dealership and usually make a few thousand bucks profit. But other than that, we can take a step closer. The gas tank is pushed to open with easy fill. I would recommend premium fuel for this turbocharged engine, making a pretty hefty 275 horsepower and 325 pound-feet of torque with this 2.3 liter EcoBoost, like I mentioned, 236 miles on this SUV. But continuing out rear, we have a full-size spare tire third brake light. We also get a daytime running strip for the tail lights, turn signals and reverse lights in the center, rear tow hook too, parking sensors. As far as a trailer hitch, we do not get one. You see your exhaust tip in the right corner. Hopefully you can get a good look at your shocks. Solid rear axle, of course, front and rear locking differentials. We get 4.7 ratio for the gears and we have a crawl mode for this manual transmission, which is like a super low gear. Top speeds me around like 10 miles an hour in that gear, but it will really help when it comes to torque. I tried it out already and you can pop the clutch basically and not even have to worry about stalling. That's how short those gears are. But other than that, let's rev up this 2.3 liter EcoBoost and hear how she sounds. All right, guys, that was, of course, the sound of the 2.3 liter EcoBoost sold by Ford for the 2022 Bronco. It looks like Doug's going to be in some trouble once we open up this hood. I really hope he doesn't jump on my face, but let's open up this hood. Try to keep Doug as happy as possible. We do not get struts. Going to have to figure out the prop rod. 
There we have it. And here you have your 2.3 liter EcoBoost making in this application 275 horsepower, 325 pound-feet of torque. Enough to get this off-road SUV to 60 between 7 and 7.5 and seconds. Pretty quick, but it depends completely on how quickly you can shift the gears. I like the intake tunnel so you can get some nice cold air and it's pretty high off the ground so as far as like off-road use if you go through some mud you don't really have to worry about getting some liquid in your intake. The battery's on the driver's side so not the best when it comes to weight balance if you are like off-roading by yourself but what you see is basically what you get solid airflow with this very large hood and the intake tunnel should really help when it comes to off-road and accessing some cold air. As soon as we figure out this prop rod we can shut this hood right up hopefully Doug's okay he's still there boom okay <laughs> That's pretty... <laughs> other than that though we can take a step back get one last look at this front end styling and let's check out the interior on this 2022 Ford Bronco Badlands and stepping inside we get marine grade vinyl for this upper portion some hard plastic for the frame more of that marine grade vinyl for the lower portion white trim nice little grab handle which is just a hard plastic nice cargo net good for some car accessories no nameplate stepping inside but we get bronco on the floor mats these really nice orange contrasted vinyl seats with a bronco badge are a two thousand dollar option pretty soft head headrest too and you can access the rear pretty easily thanks to this latch but other than that we'll check out the rear towards the end of this video the seats are completely manual adjusted for the recline drop lift and the lumbar we also get the slide up front but it's still nice to get the lumbar control as far as this interior in general we can take a step inside and with these 33s as we mentioned it's a little bit high for a step in so if you're shorter you may want to invest in some running boards but first thing we notice is this massive screen here we get the 12 inch touchscreen which comes equipped on the equipment group 333a which includes badlands package mid package dual zone electric climate control front row heated seats power outlet sync 4 with enhanced cd voice recognition ford co-pilot 360 high package 12 inch lcd center stack touchscreen and a 360 degree camera all for a 2800 hundred dollar equipment group 333a the touchscreen though very responsive one of the best in the business really really impressive sync 4 system from ford and the right side we can adjust between zone lighting serious phone trip one fuel economy pitch and roll which is nice for off-road and serious so right back to where we started below we get the audio phone nav app settings and features we get apple carplay android auto of course features include the zone lighting owner's manual and driver's assistance other than that though the center stack the heads up cluster also has a digital display 120 for the speedometer we don't get a true analog tack the tack is right here illuminated by rpm with the digital speedo right next to it driver's assistance to the left but this is adjustable you can return check out the fuel economy trip one trip two average speed we can see my view and when it comes to my view you can have a calm screen fuel economy trip one off-road we're currently in two-wheel drive the four-wheel drive selector is beneath we of course get four low and crawl mode pretty nice features configure my view but other than that we'll just leave it in calm screen for now we have trip and fuel off-road and navigation so you can see a heads up of a turn by turn when the navigation is hooked up we get off-road status pitch and roll power distribution tire pressure and gauges as far as gauges we can see our boost oil temperature voltometer turbo boost psi oil temperature battery voltage off-road pitch and roll power distribution tire pressure and the overall gauges my personal favorite to look at will just be these gauges to the left i still wish we had an analog tachometer for the manual transmission not the biggest deal though hard plastic for the upper portion relatively frameless for the rear view mirror it is auto dimming we can uh, disconnect our stabilizer bars locking front and rear differential trash control you can disable and your hazards up top outside of your 12 inch touchscreen we have two air vents which have a orange little tip for the badlands package bronco stitching not stitching but etching for that plastic area engine start stop dual zone automatic climate control which is nice heated front seats no cooled seats wouldn't really be expected and your volume and tune adjustments as well you press this button and you can access your 360 camera forward facing camera you press it one more time and you return right back to your screen as far as the backup camera all you got to do is brake clutch lift this up slap to the old way to the left push forward and now we're in reverse and the backup camera front camera and 360 camera have an excellent 
excellent resolution huge thumbs up to ford throw right back into neutral e-brake is up so we're perfectly fine i'm liking this oh crap handle for the passenger if the off-road driver is driving like a maniac we have usb port and a usb c port with some solid storage right outside of your four-wheel drive controller with hill descent control as well behind the seven speed manual transmission we have this ford sticker which says designed and engineered in dearborn michigan usa built at michigan assembly plant with some hexagonal screws in there too no wireless charging pad this would be a good spot for one two cup holders with a pass-through good spot for a phone your window controls and you can adjust your mirrors here too nothing on the door itself because since these doors are removable you'd like to have the least amount of electronics on them as possible to the left of the steering wheel we have our zone lighting for the mirrors auto headlamps and interior brightness hood release electronic parking brake um, and the steering wheel is tilt and telescoping the turn signal stocks have a satisfying click no rain sensing wipers wouldn't really be expected the steering wheel too i'm liking the leather wrap it's pretty thick good 10 and 2 bolstering notches no flat bottom but we get the horse in the center kind of like a mustang but here it's a bronco as far as the horn itself wow really aggressive sounding horn cruise control on the left side volume adjustments lane keep assist and on the right side we have the skip function and this controls your little heads up infotainment dial voice commands the armrest is also pretty soft marine grade vinyl you open it up as far as the center cubby very deep i'd expect you to fit two possibly even three two liter bottles of soda and an additional 12 volt in there as well the glove box you can open it up it's pretty large i'd expect you to fit 15 to 20 license plates you'll fit a pair of shoes in there with no problem this roof of course is removable since it's a rainy day we're not going to remove it but it's removable by first you have to pull these latches in four corners and then you just unclip the roof and you just lift and hide it away in your trunk other than that though that's about it for this front seat we can take a look at this window sticker see any features that i may have missed in the 2022 two-door advanced 4x4 badlands four passenger 2.3 liter eco boost bronco with a seven speed manual transmission we have the oxford white paint color leather trim black vinyl seats exterior standard features you can pause take a look at all of these as far as options we have about 7300 bucks in total options 2800 bucks gets us the equipment group 333a you can pause take a look at all the features included with it for 160 we get the floor liners with all weather carpet mats 575 for the front bumper hd modular 17 inch black aluminum beadlock gray ring rims are a thousand bucks 300 bucks for the brush guard 365 for the roof rails and these leather trim black vinyl seats are an additional 2200 bucks base price 42,000 495 bucks after $7,380 in total options and a $1,500 destination charge. Total price is sitting a tick over 51,000 bucks. Fuel economy, not the best, 16 city, 17 highway MPGs, but we have some super short ratios with these 470 gears. So not really surprised when it comes to the highway fuel economy. It would be nice for a sixth gear to have been like a true overdrive gear in that regard, just to really help that highway fuel economy. But again, not the biggest deal. As far as the window sticker, that's about it. As far as the front seat and features, also, that's about it. Let's hop out back, see how much space is offered back there, as well as the overall quality of the material. And you just pull this latch to access the second row, and if you push hard enough, the seat actually slides for you. And we'll hop back here. Not the easiest process for somebody that's a little over six feet tall, but as far as, like, legroom, put the seats back in the original settings, and I got quite a bit for a back seat. Pretty impressive. Almost as spacious as the four-door Bronco when it comes to back seat space. All the materials, though, are all hard plastic. The windows do not open out rear, only in the front. But what you see is basically what you get. I'm sure most passengers would not mind spending some time back here. We don't get air vents, but it's a pretty small cabin. The air vents up front should reach with no issues. We get USB port, USB-C port, and an AC adapter for the back seat. Bronco, little emblem two. It says no step on this little console area, which is interesting. But other than that, two cup holders, and that's about it. To hop back out, push the seat forward. We get the cargo nets back here too behind both of the front seats. But anyway, oop, not the easiest process. Wow. I think uh, a set of running boards would really help the process. But other than that, we can check out the trunk real quick and then take this Bronco out for a drive. And the trunk, not the most spacious. And when it comes to like cities, when you have to like open up after you parallel park, this may not be the most convenient. You might smack the car behind you. 
but for areas like this, more than good enough. The trunk space itself, not, not the most impressive, but you can fit groceries back here with no problem. You can open up this window and you can shut that tailgate too. So you can throw some kayaks back here, have them sticking out. I'll try to show you guys a visual of what that would look like. Boom, so pretty useful when it comes to an SUV. You don't really see this very often in the SUV segment where you can just lift the rear windshield but what you see is basically what you get you fold those rear seat seats down i'd expect you to fit around a 50 inch tv back here with no issues if you want to have it poking out of your tailgate you probably fit a larger tv but that's about it to shut this thing up you got to open the tailgate all the way put the rear windshield back shut that and we'll take one more step back get a good look at the rear styling and let's take this 2022 bronco badlands with a seven speed manual out for a drive all right, guys, now we're just about seeing everything we need to see with the inside and outside of this all-new 2022 Ford Bronco Badlands with a seven-speed manual transmission. Let's take it out for a drive. And the first thing that I notice is the clutch is awesome in this thing, and Doug is still sitting out on the hood. Hopefully, he still stays there for the rest of this review. We probably won't be taking things too crazy just for the sake of him. But taking a step out here, again, the clutch feels nice short gear ratios very short ratios Ooh, feels pretty torquey too uh, the brakes feel nice pretty responsive they feel a little bit better than the wrangler it's brakes the wrangler sport that we reviewed in this channel but taking another step yeah. Ooh, sounds nice this is a fun car to drive the shifter is very notchy and the throttle is responsive the clutch is phenomenally easy to use the short ratios help because the power being so immediate lets the clutch feel more linear because you're not really fishing for power with this 2.3 liter turbo. So many stop signs though, a lot of stop signs, but right after this last one, it should be good. Uh, and right here, we can also try out a little loopy, little loopy area in the road, a couple twisties. is fun to drive the ride quality is fantastic excellent ride quality and you're sitting here one thing i just noticed is when you're in neutral you left the clutch we have engine start stop i have never been in a manual transmission car that had engine start stop uh, but as soon as this road opens up we'll take a step out onto this multiple lane highway and test out this vehicle's power all right guys taking a step out onto this multiple lane highway we're not going to gun it in first but second gear on the gas. Oh, woo, little wheel spin. Wow, this thing got some power. Not bad. Uh, but yeah, I wasn't expecting this thing to break the wheels loose there. Pretty impressive when it comes to performance. Throw it into third gear. Yeah, once that boost kicks in, you feel a pretty decent amount of power. We can throw it into sixth gear going around 43 miles per hour we're turning only 1300 rpm which isn't bad as far as torque not really a whole lot but it's not too tough to maintain speed when you're in sixth gear or seventh gear not quite sure what you would call it this is a seven speed transmission it's just one of the gears happened to be crawl mode but we can make a u-turn check out this vehicle's real world turning radius and it should be pretty impressive. I mean, this is an off-road SUV after all, but right back out, first gear on the gas. Woo! <laughs> this thing is fun. I'm liking it with the manual. It really wakes this vehicle up. But we can slow down a little bit. Try one more little highway pull, second gear on the gas. <laughs> this thing is fun to drive. I can only imagine how much fun it would be off-road, but even on the road, this thing is a blast. The handling is surprisingly nimble. The steering is sharp, noticeably sharper than the Jeep Wrangler. This is a fun SUV to drive. And as you see, we're currently rolling at zero RPM. Ooh, that's a nice Mustang. Wow, he's driving like a maniac. It's wet road too. Hopefully he stays safe. But as you see, 0.0, .0 RPM, um, which is 
pretty cool for a manual transmission car. I've never been in a manual transmission car that had auto start stop, but I guess there's a first time for everything. Overall though, I'll turn this turn signal off. I'm sure it's probably annoying to listen to, but overall so far, this SUV is a very nimble off-road capable vehicle. I wasn't expecting it to handle nearly as well as it does. And through all those performance tests, check it out. Doug is still staying there. He's probably begging me to calm down for mercy, but okay, taking a step back out, we got the arrow smooth the clutch is so nice second gear on the gas nice i'm really enjoying this car guys if you're looking for an off-road capable fun suv i'm recommending the bronco the bronco is without question my personal favorite one more time Whew. all in all guys I'm really impressed with this all-new 2022 Ford Bronco we got the chance to review the four-door Badlands last year the 2021 version it had the 2.7 EcoBoost the six-cylinder twin turbo as opposed to this single turbo four-cylinder but this thing is still super impressive guys and with this manual transmission it makes the car so much more fun. If you're looking for a Bronco, I recommend going with the 2.3 and the manual with the two-door variant. This thing is so much fun. It's playful. It's a little bit heavy, so it's not the fastest, but it can still get up and go like right here. Second gear. Yeah, you can break those wheels loose once that boost kicks in. This thing can move. All right, guys, we made it back to Elder Ford, and Doug is still sitting out on the roof. Huge thanks to Elder Ford for making this review possible, and a huge thanks to Izzy for helping me get the keys to this really awesome 2022 Bronco Badlands two-door with a seven-speed manual. Um, huge thanks to all you guys for watching, too. I had a great time making this video. One of the most fun SUVs that we reviewed in this channel. It's not as fast as, like, an M car from BMW, but it's term in terms of, like, off-road capability and pure fun, this is about as good as you're going to get under the $50,000 mark. Um, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. You guys know I have endless gratitude for all the subscribers. You know, the channel's just not possible without you guys, and I really appreciate the constant support. But again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Leave a like, too. It really helps me out the YouTube algorithm. That's how these videos get promoted to new people. Leave a comment. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't like. Leave a comment. Let me know if there's any specific cars or trucks you'd like to see reviewed in this channel, too. And I'll definitely try to get those videos for you as soon as possible. But other than that, again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope all of you have a great day.